Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and today we are so close. We are about to find out who murdered um, Dick Stanford, who apparently was a very big dick, IRL. We still have something to investigate, I guess, and my bet is on Kathleen. I'm just throwing it out there, my bet's on Kathleen. Let's investigate. Okay, what else am I looking for? Oh. Apparently, it was right there. Okay. Um, maybe this. One, 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 two, one, one, two. Okay. And then this one solely... No. No idea. Eight four two two two. Mm. Like this isn't enough here. I highly sorry. I highly doubt that that's accurate. Okay. Why do I feel like this is a corner? Might not be. Could be completely wrong. Um, but it'll give us a jumping off point. Okay. Three. Three. Mm -mm -mm. One, two. Four. Ka. Guess that might have been a right assumption to make. Two, two, one. Oh, two. So that's three. One, three. Uh, I have a one that I have to put in here somewhere. A two. A three. And now I have eights, and then I have like one. Okay, so that could be, that's good. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I don't touch that anymore. Okay. So this is, we're going to make the assumption that what I have set in place, oops. Oh my God. Is correct could be a wrong assumption but that's the assumption i'm making whoops except for this area that area i, I know is right the that that line in the middle i know I'm, I'm doing a poor job of demonstrating that line but oh god so let's take a look here two we have a one okay we both have ones there so we're just going to assume that's right um okay we have a two i have another one right here if that's one then that's a three and then i have another Ooh, this might actually work well that's a three in theory only theory okay seven four sounds good two okay okay Three, two, okay. okay. Um, two, okay. Two, okay. Three, okay. One, okay. Okay. So now I have, um, well, that works out well. Next, one, okay. Uh, three, okay. One, okay. Three, okay. This is a six. Okay. Seven, uh, seven. Okay. Two, two, three, two. These are the only places that are left. Two, one okay uh 
to... Oh. oh. Like I said, these can always be wrong. Okay, what else? Oh, this is eight. Okay, sounds good. Four. Ah, uh, one. Two. Three. Um, two, one, one. Okay. We're getting somewhere. This is always like fun. I have no idea what I'm making though. Hmm. Two, okay. Okay, sounds good. There's a yeah, four in here somewhere. Uh, oops. Three. Okay. Um, I need four here. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, two. Two, um, no, sorry, one, 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 because ones, one, three, three, one, one, three, oh, but that doesn't work there. I have one too many ones somewhere. <sighs> okay. I have one too many ones up here. Two. Where? Here. How about we try and make it like this? Oh, but then I still have one too many ones. Okay. What if I remove that one and put it down there? Woohoo! Bouquet? Dying flowers. <laughs> I mean, like, I've never heard of it called that before. Okay. These are flowers Dick got with his awards, but they're all wilted. Honor, don't get too close. I detect neurotoxin powder inside the bouquet. On the flowers? Dick was on stage. I saw him smell them. That's how he was poisoned. They must have been poisoned in advance. But how did Bobby gain access to the flowers before the ceremony? Maybe he didn't. I can't detect anything else unusual here. I guess all of this evidence we're gonna get. I hope it's enough to build a case around. Detective Cross will be here any minute with Bobby. We better have our final theory ready. Do you really think we have enough evidence? If we can't convince Cross, I know, but it's our last chance. I think we I finally understand what happened here tonight. Kathleen killed Dick. It's all starting to make sense now. 
She admitted to herself that she and Dick had a long-standing feud, and he was a jerk to everyone on his show, especially her. Putting up with Dick was hard enough, just for one night. I can't imagine that, that kind of abuse over a decade. But she could never go public. It would end her career. So she made up a fake name and started to leak rumors to the press. Until Dick called his lawyer and stopped the press from accepting any more stories about him. She was silenced. Silenced, but angrier than ever. That's when she decided to take matters into her own hands. Dick Stanford had to die. But if Kathleen killed Dick, how is it that Bobby gave the poison makeup to Becky? That's exactly what I hope to find out from Bobby. Well, well, look at the cop dragged in. Am I to understand Bobby isn't so innocent after all? That's what we're about to find out. I'm sorry, Bobby. We have, we've got a few more questions for you. What the hell? I didn't kill Dick. I, you said it yourself. I came here for the awards, not to get interrogated by a private detective and some robot. Well, isn't back talk, ba Bobby? No one's interested in your sob story. I hope every you've gotten everything you need, Honor. This is your last chance. Yes, let's let's identify the murder weapon. Dick was poisoned with a neurotoxin sprinkled onto those flowers. <gasps> Aren't those the flowers I gave him on stage? He sealed his fate as soon as he smelled them. That's why he started acting strangely on stage. The poison was already taking effect. Pretty grim stuff. I, I can't believe it. I held those flowers too. I'd smelled them myself. But I didn't go anywhere near the flowers. I don't even know what the neurotoxin is. It's a poison that... Uh, the poison was hidden in makeup. Rouge number 16 from Corinthia Cosmetics. Only a small amount of poison of the poisoned makeup was needed to kill if inhaled. Since when do you know so much about poison? I am still learning what I'm capable of, detective. Wait a second. I recognize that makeup. I was hoping you would. After all, you gave it to Becky. You handed off deadly poison to some innocent girl? I can't believe what I'm hearing. We all trusted you, Bobby. Hold up. You gave that makeup to me. Well, he's obviously lying. I don't know. Let's hear him out. Why did Kathleen give you the makeup, Bobby? Uh, I've been trying all evening to get Becky to agree to come on my show. She'd be great for ratings. I asked Kathleen if she had any advice. You know, girl stuff. She said, I should try getting her a gift. This is the most ridiculous thing. Let him finish. I asked her what kind of gift, and she thought about it for a second. Then she smiled and gave me that makeup. So you're telling me that you were given poison makeup by Kathleen. It's all lies. I haven't spoken a word to him all evening. I just didn't have touched any poison makeup. That's where my next piece of evidence comes in. Detective, this is outrageous. Bobby's a suspect here. I don't feel like she's interrogating me. Miss Masari, anything else you would like that ties Kathleen to the poisoning? We found this pair of gloves in the bathroom. Do they look familiar? <gasps> they look just like the, ca the gloves Kathleen's been wearing all evening. They're identical, except for one important detail. These gloves have traces of neurotoxin on them. That's abs This is absurd. Quiet. What do you think, Honor? What are you thinking, Honor? I'm thinking Kathleen used the makeup to sneak a deadly poison into the Starshine Awards. I don't know anything about poison. I don't know anything about poison. Really? You think... I think you knew exactly what you were dealing with. That's why you brought a spare pair of gloves. After you dosed Dick's flowers, you threw your gloves that you were wearing to avoid poisoning yourself. I think it's obvious. 
obvious what's going on here. Bobby wants to frame me for Dick's murder. He used a pair of my gloves to make it look like he did it. Why would I... Why would I kill Dick? We've worked together for years. Exactly. You admitted to us that you've suffered for years from Dick's insults and mood swings. Perhaps, but never stoop to his level. I have a professional reputation to uphold. That's why, when you went to the press, you used a fake name. Alex Costa. Uh, Alex Costa? I've told you before, I've never heard the name in my life. Me neither. Care to enlighten us. Alex Costa told Celeb Life magazine about the monster Dick really was. They printed the accusation, but then Dick's lawyer stepped in. And this Alex guy was someone who worked with Dick. To have that amount of dirt on him, they must have known him for years. And Bobby fits per the bill perfectly. He wanted to ruin Dick's reputation and save his own show. His mother is even called Alexandra. Alexandra Price, Alex Costa. Isn't it obvious? A little too obvious. Almost as if someone knew they could pin the whole thing on Bobby if they got caught. You use my mom's name? Control yourself, Bobby. We could do without another strangling today. Calm down, both of you. I see your point, Mizarahi. But there is a direct... But is there any direct connection to the poisoning? The makeup came from... Le Marchot Joli. It was a special order for Alex Costa. I can't believe you're listening to this amateur when you have a real killer right here. There's one last piece of evidence. Alex Costa's phone number. I don't have to stand here and be insulted by you. One moment, please. I have to... I, 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 don't worry. I hear you still got to get a phone call in prison. Kathleen Cartwright, you're under the arrest of Dick Stanford. I, you don't know what it's like to spend your entire career being put down and brushed aside. He deserved to die. I put up with that monster for 20 years, two decades of insults and contempt, and all the while having to hear how great he was. I tried to tell the world, tried talking to the press, and no one would listen. But that ranting, disgusting old creep you saw on stage, that was the real dick. That's enough. Let's go. Now everyone knows what he's really like. I'm glad he's dead. I only wish I could have made it more painful. Well, okay then. I don't believe what you're telling me, Honor. Everyone I love, everyone loved Dick Stanford. Everyone except the people he worked with, but no one wanted to listen to them. It's like I always say, TV's devil's work. I don't agree with any of this detective nonsense. At least you're not on t in TV anymore. Have you seen Becky? I'm ready to go. Just no more arguing in the car, okay? Good luck getting mom to agree to that. I'll stop arguing when you stop being so damn stubborn. Great news, everyone! I'm going to be the special guest star on Back Talk with Bobby Price. You guys have a great story. I'm glad I can help tell it to the nation. And thanks for helping prove I didn't kill anyone. You and Scout are quite a pair of detectives. Speaking of which, can we give Bobby a ride in to the police station? Uh, Detective Cross still wants to speak with him. Apparently, strangling a dead guy might be illegal after all. Go figure.
You know what? I'm not sure I want to s a self-admitted strangler sitting behind me in the car. Take my keys. I'll walk. Scout and I headed back to my apartment, feeling good. We'd done it. We cracked the case. We proved them all wrong. The feeling was intoxicating. Head... A heady sense of accomplishment, like I'd never felt before. We worked it out, we found the clues, discovered the links between them, and now justice was done. It felt great. And at that moment I knew, I wanted to feel this again. I wanted to feel this all the time. The only problem was, I was still convinced, ev I still had to convince everyone else, Detective Cross, my mother, only Scout seemed to really understand. In a few short weeks, he'd become one of my closest friends, someone I could trust, someone that had my back. But trust has a nasty way of getting broken when you least expect it. Home at last. This was one hell of a night, right, Scout? Scout? I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just here to warn you. Scout is not what he seems. He's dangerous. What? He needs to be shut down. Now. Before it's too late. I don't know what the hell you're, you think you are breaking into my apartment. But you'd better get out before I call the cops. Fine, I'll go. But I've left you my number. Think it over. I'll be waiting for your call. Honor, this is amazing. I was looking behind your bookshelf and found a Humphrey Bogart movie I haven't seen yet. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Let's go watch that movie, okay? Case closed. Awesome. And we got a new case. If the shoe fits. I'm going to leave that here for this episode, though. We'll start the new case in the next episode. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Again, I know I say this periodically. By periodically, I mean like every other day. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, it would be really cool if you would. Because I appreciate it. And I enjoy seeing people comment on my videos and I love chatting with you but I want to thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye